Welcome back to my channel. So, I have been in Florida the last two weeks competing at the summit, and I haven't uploaded my summit vlog yet because that's kind of like my favourite vlog out of all the vlogs I've done, and I wanted to kind of save that one to the end. If you can see in the background that we actually won summit, um, which is honestly incredible. I cannot even describe like my emotions towards winning like i actually cannot believe that we won it's been such a good like journey with all of my team and honestly i loved every single part of it and i'm so sad that it's over but um yeah like i said the summit vlog is going to be the one that's coming up last because that's the one i'm kind of like most excited about um so yeah that's kind of like an update on where i've been what i've been doing etc the lighting is really weird right now because I've got my window next to me, but if I do that, it's just way too dark. So, I have moved where I've sat because the lighting was really gross. Um, but I'm going to be showing you everything I got in Florida. Um, so, there's quite a lot of, like, Summit merch. And then we also went shopping for other things. So, yeah, I'm just going to start. I'm gonna start off with the cheer clothes slash summit merch that I got. So first of all, I got this Nike sports bra, which is absolutely gorgeous. I don't really know if it's a sports bra or like just a regular like bralette kind of thing. So it doesn't have any padding in, but it's basically just like crisscross like that. And I honestly just think this is gorgeous and it's probably one of my favorite things I have bought and I'm obsessed with it. The next bit of sports clothing I got was these Nike Pros and they are just so lovely. Like they have this cool pattern on it and there were also some purple Nike Pros that I really want to get because purple is my favorite color, but they didn't have my size and I'm really sad. The only other Nike thing I got were these like more baggy shorts and they have a Nike tick here and they just say Nike along the band and I thought these are gonna be perfect for coaching in because they're more loose and they're just like more comfy shorts so i'm really happy i got these so moving on to summit merch that i got i got this matching training kit which has these shorts in it with the cool like these are the most flattering shorts i actually think i've ever worn um they say the summit down here is like the logo and then they have a band with colors on and then it has a gray bit here and then matching that i have this sports bra that's a bit dirty um and it just says the summit like on the band and then it has a gray band and these together honestly look so good and that's my new favorite training outfit I've got. And then to go with that outfit, I got this like tank top because these are my favorite thing to train because I get really sweaty in like full tops is this one that says the summit national championship and it has like a crisscross back and this is like the nicest top ever. Moving on to like t-shirts from the summit, I got this one that says the summit national championship, the summit national championships champion because obviously we won as you can see in the background. So I just got this top, um, which I love and I kind of more wear these tops as like, like bedtime tops I find them really comfy and occasionally I do coach in them just cause I find tops like that are like down here quite uncomfortable to training so I get really sweaty, which is, lovely to know i know i then got the top like from the competition so it says the summit national championships on the front and then on the back it says all of the team names that competed there and this literally has so many teams on the back and the last bit of like merch you can say that i got from summit since i don't i'm wearing this is probably my favorite thing that i've bought because it is just gorgeous it's, it's like baggy jumper that has, can't even show this, a baggy jumper which has like a crisscross cut out bit here that you can tie. It has the Summit National Championships kind of logo on. The bottom has like the stripy thing. And then on the back it says the Summit National Championships with the Summit logo and I'm not kidding, basically everyone bought this. Um, and I literally am in love with this. This is the comfiest thing. I like bought this on the plane and I'm just in love with this, like, I actually love this so much. We then went to Top Gun, so I got some Top Gun, like, 
training stuff for like from the Top Gun merch place. I don't know why I made that so difficult. Um, so first of all, I got this orange one that says Top Gun Wilds. Um, and then on the back it says all of the world's teams and I just think this is perfect to train in. And then I also got this which is a Top Gun Angels top because that's literally one of my favourite teams. Their uniforms this season were the nicest uniforms. Um, so it says Top Gun Angels on the front and then it says respect to the Halo Worlds 2019. And I literally was like fangirling because well, they're one of my favourite teams. They trained in the place we trained. So I was like, whoa. And then I bought this Top Gun top that just says Top Gun All Stars and I think this is perfect because I could wear this and like tie it up for college and like I could wear this as like a normal top but it's just like a plain Top Gun one. So from Forever 21 I got this really nice sports bra but I realised it's in the wash and I wanted to show it but I'm going to insert a picture now. Um, yeah, I wore it in one of the vlogs anyway, so you would have seen it. But yeah, I got that sports bra, which I kind of wore as an actual top. Um, and then I got two of these like neon bandeau-y thingies. So first of all, I got this green one, which I love. And it just like goes along there. And then yeah, I thought it looked really good with the tan. And then I also got the same like fit, but just in this like bright orangey coral kind of colour. And then to go with the green one... I got this top that has like a green, it says splash. It has like a green band along the top and then it's like a cut out crop top. And I thought it would look really cool with this green top underneath. So yeah, I was like really happy with that. So I just got this plain Forever 21, I don't know why I said Forever 21, just like little, um, like kind of vest top, no, I don't know if it's a vest, but it would look really good because it's like skin tight, tucked into jeans. It kind of looks more like a bodysuit when you wear it. I got this from Pink. Um, I found this, this was literally $19. Um, so the front is just like plain. It's like a crop jumper and it says pink at the bottom down here. And then the back, it says pink, like really big. And then the like arm sleeve things have these things i i'm so bad at explaining the arm has like buck i don't know what they're called like buttons maybe metal things <coughs> i then got this bralette thing from pink and i really love this so it's like gold it's got like gold like strip thingies and then along the band it says pink and then the back is like super cute because it has like cut out thingies and I like wore this just around the villa with shorts just to like be comfy. Um, wouldn't really be able to wear that in England. I then also got a Tommy Hilfiger. My, I just sneezed so my nose is running. I then got a Tommy Hilfiger one which I've worn. So it does actually have fake tan in it. But I still want to show before I put it in the wash. Uh, just the Tommy Hilfiger bralette thing. Um, the things have like fake tan on it here which is kind of gross. Um, and it just says Tommy Hilfiger and it's quite plain but it's like really comfy and it's cute and I always wear these things. I'm like wearing a New Balance one now. Um, I just find them like super comfy to wear just around the house or like in general. I then got two packs of Tommy Hilfiger socks because I don't know like those people that know me. I always wear the Nike socks like these that just have like a Nike ticket. So I got two packs of these because I love like nice socks. And then from Guess, I got this top that's like got a zip down the middle and then down the side it says Guess and I just thought it's like really flattering on and it's just like simple but really nice and I just really liked this so. And then as a pyjama top, basically my favourite Disney, fi Disney film is Aladdin so I just got this top as a pyjama top and it's got a picture of jasmine and then it says jasmine at the bottom it says it's my world and i think that's just perfect for me because i'm just extra on the theme of aladdin and disney i got these ears from the parks which have the um carpet that's what's called the carpet on the middle and i actually love these so much i had like the regular ears and i also had some rose gold ones which i actually left the rose gold ones there and i'm really annoyed so I got these to add to my ear collection. Giving Tisha a little shout out. She got me this like badge thingy for my bag. This is the bag I brought to Disney, which is so cute. Um, and it's got the carpet on it. 
So I'll just give Tisha a little shout out for that because I love it. These are the best things that I bought. So first of all, actually, Hannah got me this little monkey because I absolutely love monkeys. And it's called Coconut and like, it's like our like tea mascot. And we brought it to Summit and we won Summit. So this is now like Lucky Coconut and everyone loves Coconut. Everyone. And then my mum got me this, which is the like, monkey, a monkey from Aladdin. Um, I absolutely love Aladdin. I don't know if it's like quite obvious. Um, and it's just the monkey from him. So that's just really cute. And then my mum gave me this and I saw it. So I then bought the Jasmine. This seems so weird that I bought teddies, but basically like the whole team did. And I'm going to get the Eeyore Chloe ball. How cute is this? Chloe bought a little baby Eeyore and oh my god. When he like, oh, that's the cutest thing in the world. And then we went on a cat in the hat ride in Universal. And I literally love cat in the hat. So I got a baby little cat. <laughs> this is just so cute. Honestly, little cuddly toys and things I just think are so cute. And... Sorry, not sorry that I got four of them. Yeah, I'm 17 and I bought cuddly toys, so love that for me. Moving on to bath and body works, I got three sprays. So to start off, I got this one that's called One in a Million, and this is my favourite one. It smells amazing, like that actually smells amazing. And then I got this one that says Pretty in Peach, which also smells really good. It's like peachy and... Oh, it says pretty as a peach, I can read. And then also get this one called Hello, which I don't really like the smell of. Now I smell it, and I don't really know why I got it, because I don't really like the smell of it. But And then I got three, uh, five hand sanitizers. So I got one that says, I can't speak. I got one that's cucumber and lily, one that's Honolulu sun, uh, turquoise water, Fiji white sands, and fresh water for men. This is actually a men's smell, but it smells so good, so I, I've got the hiccups. Oh. <laughs> My speech has gone down really quickly in this video. So the main thing I bought myself, like the thing I probably spent the most money on, is this Michael Kors purse. It is gorgeous, and I love the inside of it as well. Um, uh, I have never bought myself something like designer, really. So we went into a Michael Kors shop, and I just saw it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself and I'm really happy I got it because I just think it's really lovely. Should I show you the snacks I bought? I've eaten quite a lot of them. Okay, well I'm going to show you the snacks even though I've eaten a lot of them. But I absolutely love Kool-Aid and I'm really annoyed that we can't really get it in England. So I got loads of these little Kool-Aid sachet thingies. There's more on the floor but they're kind of underneath everything. So I got a watermelon one, strawberry kiwi, pink lemonade and mixed berry. And then my absolute favourite flavour of Kool-Aid, I got the big version in grape because I love artificial like grape stuff and they're not really sold in England at all. I then brought home four packs, two, I can't, three, three packs of Flamin' Hot Cheetos because they are my favourite crisps in the world and England doesn't do them and that makes me so sad. I also brought home a pack of pop tarts because in England you can only get chocolate or strawberry and these taste like Oreos um, which are lovely and then I got loads of these five at one birthday cake bars. I also brought home loads of like these little Hershey's bars just because they're cute to snack on. These pizza flavoured goldfish so we also got given this bag as being a like athlete, it's got some fruit gushes and a granola bar in there because that's like what I brought to like every parks and stuff like that. And it's just really cute, it's like this bag that like fits a water bottle in here and I'm going to use this for training. So I'm going to put my shoes in there. Oh, my cup! This is one of my favourite things I bought. I bought this Starbucks cup which is like like super big so i've been home for a few days so i've used all of this makeup so it's not actually in the packaging anymore um but i'm just gonna show you so first of all i got the born this way concealer but i didn't get a regular size one i got this mini one because that is so cute and then the other mini thing i got is the baby Too faced peach perfect peach powder once again it's just so cute and little that i just couldn't resist then got a Too faced peach mist mattifying setting spray which is like the littler one but i basically got three setting sprays so i didn't want to but i like wanted to try this out it smells really good i then topped up on my Too faced born this way 
no, this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer because I have one at home but I have finished it so I like to get them when we're in America because it's just cheaper. I then got myself a Becca highlighter because I've never actually tried a Becca highlighter before. I wanted to buy myself some Ofra highlighters but then I saw this and decided I'd give this one a go because we actually went to Sephora on the last day so it was when I didn't have like much money left and it's kind of when I bought presents for everyone. I then got this Wet n Wild Foco Photo Focus setting spray. I got this actually on the first day so I forgot to bring my setting spray with me. Don't spell of anything. But yeah, I literally bought this just because I needed a setting spray and we, it was from Walmart. So really happy with this actually. Um, I then got this Milani foundation because I ran out of foundation in England. So I needed like a foundation that's like pale enough for when I'm here. Then from MAC, I also got this foundation which is the MAC Mineralize broad oh, I don't even know mineralized moisture I don't know just a MAC foundation that I used whilst I was out there and then I also bought the prep and prime um like fix spray fix plus why can I not speak I got the fix plus spray and I didn't get it in the normal smell I got it in the rose one so like the top has like an iridescent lid and it smells so good I got a brow whiz because I've always wanted to try this and I just always put off buying it because it's quite pricey um, because I like run out of eyebrow pencils really easy and then I also got the um, like brow gel thingy which is in the shade soft brown I've got dark eyebrows but this has made my eyebrows so good and easy to do so oh, oh I just touched on the floor and then I realized I got these two food items Chloe actually bought me these red velvet Oreos because I was excited to try these forever like I've always wanted to try these and every time I've gone to America I've just forgotten for some reason so we I was like I have to get them I have to get them and we went to Walmart and they didn't have them so Chloe found them one day for me and she bought them for me and I'm honestly so happy because they're so good and I'm like rationing myself and I also got these Kit Kat minis in white chocolate ones they are so good so that is everything i got from florida i think i'm really really happy with everything i got and i'm very grateful that i had the opportunity to go to summit honestly was the best experience i've ever had being in a villa with like all of my best friends competing at the summit just in general like the fact we won like that just adds to it we, we weren't going to win at all we were going to hit and we also did that and like on, I just cannot believe that I had the opportunity to go and I'm just so sad that it's over so yeah um thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you next week for another video Bye.